I wrote both of these during um, the summer, last summer, after our junior year, and these poems, these two poems are dedicated to my grandparents, the people who raised me. Um, I would have them memorized, but I didn't know I was performing until this morning. So here we are. Um, first one is called My Grandfather, Zhongshan Park. When twilight holds Zhongshan Park clothes, bone dry mosquitoes recommence their dance like the aunties in their Guangchang. Ungainly and unabashed, and Shanghai of old crawls out from the underside of the skyscrapers to take the stage anew. Agon walks more slowly now, or maybe my legs are longer. As we trek, he delivers his daily lecture on Xi Jinping and Mao Zedong, a ghost to his old haunts. Sometimes when my mind flits beyond his reach and across the Pacific, his soft purple smile yanks it back by the neck and the facade of time cracks wide open and a slice of me from current calls convulsing in her rage. These are the good old days, girl. You better clutch them so tightly that they never slip away. You hear me? You pay your damn attention. You never let go or else. Thank you. Okay, the next one is called Terra Firma and this one's for my grandmother. The city knows neither earthquakes nor the night sky, so it fashioned its own constellations from the ground up, steel and glass spilling out of the river delta, and I am warm among them, alighting in the dark air some 300 feet from terra firma. Next to me there is a stick of incense, smoldering, shrinking, this cannot be good for my lungs, and the jade sensor under a figurine I do not recognize, but probably should. I am probably going to some Chinese hell. Does that exist? Hastier than I to escape this mortal world, the incense's ghost bears my mother's prayers where she cannot yet go, and where cells divide as they should, and where wisps of silver hair curl tenderly around constellations of light, and where terra firma is the hazy reverie of another life, and where my grandmother awaits. Thank you.